The U.S. Navy is currently facing a pressing issue as it rapidly depletes its stock of missile interceptors, particularly the standard missile 3, SM-3. These interceptors have been vital in defending against significant missile threats in the Middle East, particularly from Iranian attacks on Israel. However, they are also crucial for potential future conflicts, especially with China in the Pacific region. The situation is alarming as the Navy is using these essential interceptors faster than they can be replenished. In recent months, the Navy has employed the SM-3 to counter Iranian missile strikes. The use of these interceptors during such high-stakes operations raises concerns about their availability for future military engagements. The cost of the SM-3, which ranges from $10 million to $30 million per missile, depending on the variant, adds to the urgency of the situation. The rapid depletion of these valuable resources without sufficient plans for replacement poses a serious risk to U.S. military readiness in the face of potential great power conflicts. Military leaders have highlighted the need for a substantial increase in SM-3 production to prepare for potential threats in the Pacific. Retired Navy Admiral Archer Macy emphasized the importance of the SM-3 in countering China's growing arsenal of long-range theater weapons. Despite this urgent need, the production numbers do not reflect the demand. The Pentagon's fiscal year 2025 budget proposal only includes plans to produce 12 SM-3 Block 2A missiles annually over the next five years, which is significantly lower than previous years and insufficient for a high-intensity conflict. The depletion of the SM-3 is not the only concern. Um, the Navy has also been actively engaged in countering missile and drone attacks from Houthi forces in Yemen, further exhausting other interceptors, including the SM-2 and SM-6. These missiles are also vital for any future conflict in the Pacific. Experts argue that as U.S. naval forces operate closer to potential threats, they will require a diverse array of air defense capabilities. The reliance on a singular, high-cost interceptor like the SM-3 may leave the Navy vulnerable in a high-pressure situation. Senator Roger Wicker, a key member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, has called attention to the fact that the U.S. has expended numerous SM-3 missiles defending Israel, stressing the need for increased production capacity. He noted that Congress is poised to reject proposals to cancel production lines for the SM-3 Block 1B, highlighting the urgency of the situation. Moreover, while the Navy's current procurement of missile interceptors remains low, Defense experts suggest exploring alternatives. Options such as lower-cost missiles or unmanned systems could help alleviate the strain on existing resources. Transitioning away from, from reliance on highly specialized, expensive interceptors could provide U.S. forces with a broader array of defense options. This strategy would allow for high-value interceptors to be preserved for critical engagements while utilizing more cost-effective solutions for less intense threats. As the Navy navigates these challenges, it becomes increasingly clear that a reevaluation of defense procurement and operational strategies is necessary. The ongoing depletion of missile interceptors poses a significant risk to U.S. military readiness, especially with the potential for conflicts in both the Middle East and the Pacific. Thank you for listening to Global Defense. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest defense news. Share this information with others to keep them informed.